What is up, Buttercups? This is Decree B, and today, instead of bringing you a high-quality gameplay montage as I traditionally do, we're going to do something a little bit different and talk about the latest and greatest in gaming technology. That's right, virtual reality. So let's get started. Today, March 1st, some very big news for gamers has been released. The biggest news since the very first home gaming console. This has the ability to change everything. All right, enough hype. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to get started. So let's begin. Today, just a few hours ago, we learned that Valve, the creative gaming giants behind titles such as Half-Life, Portal and Team Fortress have paired up with technology giant HTC, aka the geniuses behind arguably one of the best phones on the planet, to create their very own virtual reality headset that will rival the Oculus Rift. The device is to be named HTC Vive and production has already begun. That's right, they're planning to release their developer version in March of this year. Talk about moving quickly. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's cool and all the creepy, but how does it help us? The average everyday gamer. The Oculus Rift has been in development for years and we still don't have one. Ah, uh, well that might be so. HTC has already promised us that an HTC Vive Consumer Edition will be on the market by the end of the year. That's right. Plan on having mutual virtual reality landscapes in your hands, or rather, on your head, by this holiday season. Yeah, while well, that's big news on its own, there's even more. So what? What sets it apart? It just sounds like an Oculus Rift knockoff. Au contraire. The Vive is going to be different from the Oculus Rift in many, many ways. For starters, it's already pretty much finished. It's been in development for a long, long time, including supporters such as HBO, Lionsgate, even Google supports this thing. That's saying something. Second, the headset will sport not one, but two 1200 by 1080 displays that can function at a whopping 90 FPS. For a comparison, the Oculus Rift DK2 has a single 1080p display at up to only 75 FPS. The HTC Vive will also come with a motion tracking station that can track your movements in up to a 15 feet by 15 feet room. While older versions of the Vive sported outward facing cameras to track you against QR covered rooms, hopefully this base station will be an easier and more beautiful version of this, though the Vive does still look to have mounted cameras on it. Valve and HTC also revealed that the Vive will have two controllers to help navigate around these 3D environments, though we're not quite sure exactly what they're going to be like, but we do have a guess or two. Many people assume that the controllers will be just like the Wii remotes, I call them Wii Motes, and the PlayStation Move controller. But that's not the only theory, there's another one that's a little odd. Some people speculate that the Vive controllers won't be two physical controllers you hold in your hand. Instead, they think that they might be some kind of technology-enabled glove that you slip over them. Yeah, gloves. While to most people this may seem strange or fantastical or maybe even impossible, we already have something like this on the market. Control VR has developed some gloves that you can put on your hands that will track your movements in the real world in real time and translate them to a game or virtual reality simulation. Aimed at the average gamer, these gloves, while not wireless, allow you to move your arms, hands, and even fingers in a virtual environment. These gloves are so accurate you can even use sign language in-game quickly and easily. These are a definite possibility to the HTC Vive though it's still undetermined as to whether or not they will be used or they will be physical controllers. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. As of now, we're not quite sure what the Vive will retail for, but we do know one thing. It will not be cheap. So all you men and women out there better start saving for one right now. And for all of you who are still in school, you better get started on getting on your parents' good side if you want any chance of getting a pair of these. Well, that's about all we know about the HTC Vive right now, but we do hope to find out some more information soon. Make sure to slap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single piece of information on this Vive, because I will be covering it as long as I find it interesting. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to let us know what you think about the HTC Vive in the comments below. Do you think it will be the next greatest thing in gaming, or do you think it will flop miserably like the Xbox Kinect did on launch? We'll see you guys next time. Decree B. Out. Beam me up, Scotty.
Oh, there's somebody over there. There's somebody with the red coat. Oh my Wait. god, he murdered all these people. Oh, he's coming back for me. I gotta get out of here. Holy shit. Holy shit. 